the information you need relating to the sport you love, all within five minutes. NASCAR 5 starts right now. Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR 5. I'm your host Bryce Turner. This weekend, NASCAR races at Daytona. A look at the schedule coming up, but first a look back to the races at Sonoma and Gateway. Tony Stewart won the Toyota Save Mart 350 Sprint Cup race from Sonoma. This is Stewart's first victory since spring 2013. Denny Hamlin, Joey Logano, Carl Edwards, and Martin Truex Jr. rounded out the top five. Meanwhile, Kevin Harvick continues to lead in the standings over Kurt Busch, Carl Edwards, Brad Keselowski, and Joey Logano. For more post-race coverage, visit carnuts.ca and click on Closed Wheel Racing. In the Camping World Truck Series, Christopher Bell won the Drive-In for Lineman 200 at Gateway Motorsports Park. Ben Rhodes and Daniel Hemrick finished second and third. In the standings, William Byron took the lead over Matt Crafton and Timothy Peters. It's time now for a news update. In the news, two Truck Series drivers have been penalized following a fight. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher got out of their trucks and started fighting on lap 154 of last weekend's race. This immediately followed a wreck between the two. Townley has been fined $15,000 while Gallagher has been fined $12,500. Both drivers are on NASCAR probation through the end of the year. In other news, NASCAR updated its procedures relating to Sprint Cup qualifying. Starting next week at Kentucky, race eligibility and starting positions will be set based on owner points instead of practice speeds if qualifying is cancelled. Also, open teams who qualify for the chase will be guaranteed a spot in each chase race. A few quick headlines now, NASCAR Illustrated is shutting down, American City Business Journals decided to stop publishing the magazine, the company says the final edition of NASCAR Illustrated is currently at the printer. This week marks a change in TV broadcasters, NBC Sports will televise the remainder of the Sprint Cup and Xfinity seasons. Fox Sports, which covered the first part of the seasons, will continue televising truck series events for the remainder of 2016. And programming alert, this weekend the NASCAR Pinty Series races at Circuit iCar and Can Race has you covered. Pre-race coverage can be seen now on my YouTube channel. The Xfinity Series is up first this weekend with the Subway Firecracker 250 powered by Coca-Cola from Daytona International Speedway. The race will take place tonight at around 7.45 p.m. Eastern with broadcast coverage on the NBC Sports Network, TSN2, the Motor Racing Network, and SiriusXM. Qualifying is set for today at 2.10 and can be seen on NBCSN. Then tomorrow night, it's the Sprint Cup Series Coke 0400 from Daytona. The race will take place at about 8 p.m. Eastern with broadcast coverage on NBC, TSN's 1 and 3, MRN, and Sirius XM. Qualifying is set for today at 4.15 with TV coverage on NBCSN. Thanks for watching this week's edition of NASCAR 5. I'm Bryce Turner. Enjoy the races.